There are lots of pollinators, and they are all special. Pollinators come in many forms, and that diversity is critical to our food supply. Pollinators include the many species of bees, beetles, butterflies, flies, hoverflies, and other insects that gather pollen from plants when they feed. Birds and bats are also involved in pollination. Together, they are responsible for the reproduction of most flowering plants, including about 30% of our food crops. Do you know what you're seeing? A bee may not be a bee. Some pollinators are hard to sort out, so here are a few tips for sorting out the bee-like ones. Is it fuzzy? Bees tend to have little hairs covering part of their bodies. Wasps, even though they are black and yellow like a bee, don't have those hairs. Bees can be black and yellow, mostly yellow, all black, bluish, even metallic green. Hoverflies look like little sweat bees, but are actually just flies. Is it hovering in place? Bees can't do that. Pollinator diversity matters. The unique features of each pollinator allows them to pollinate different types of flowers. Therefore, having diverse pollinators is important to maintaining different types of plants and crops. Native bees, like the southeastern blueberry bee and the mason bee, are some of the best and most important pollinators for agricultural production. Our nut and fruit orchards depend on them. Squash bees have such an affinity for squash flowers that they sleep in them. Bumblebees are the only pollinators strong enough to open the blooms of bottled gentian, a unique wetland plant. Many fruit species in other parts of the world depend on bats for pollination. Many orchids depend on a specific wasp or moth for pollination. Learn more about pollinator identification and how to protect them at nativeplantsandpollinators.org.